Hello, welcome to Greybeard. Greybeard here. Uh, hope you like this video. What it's going to be about is uh, a bed cover. I figured I'd put a proper one on it. First one I've ever bought, and this will be the first time I've ever installed one. And uh, like I say, I hope you like the video, and if you do, like it. Hopefully, hit subscribe and then uh, share it. But uh, let's get into it, I guess. Uh, you got your side rails. And then the front rail's right here. Back rail will be inside there because when it rolls out, it'll lock on that right there. But uh, extensive instructions. And then here should be all the clamps to hold her on. <coughs> they say you can put them in in 15 minutes. Let's try to make this a... Uh, a less than a 20 minute video <laughs> we'll see if that happens but, uh, so I tried to get everything out line it up kind of look at the the constructions and uh, see uh, whether I know what I'm looking at and what what I'm getting into before I you know, started it but, uh, yeah, it don't look too too uh, difficult as long as you're somewhat mechanically inclined, you should be all right. I'm assuming three for each side. All right. There we go. So hopefully the wind don't blow it around. First step is you're supposed to put your cap, I mean your bed corners on. And I'll show you what I mean right here. These little, there's three of them. I'm assuming, see how it's got that little arch right there? These two go up front and the other two will be for the back. And I'm assuming that the ones for the back will be installed when you're just about done with it cause you gotta get the sides clamped on. The front part goes into here on these little things here on the sides and uh, then when you roll the cover out, it'll clip into place there. And I guess you got corners on it too, I suppose. We'll find out. Uh, right now, I'll put these corners on real quick. I'm hoping you can see over this box good enough. Yeah, I believe you can. I'll pull your back so in case it falls, it don't fall straight into the, the driveway. these aren't already on there to tell you the truth but I guess uh, this is right before you go to put it on the truck so sticking alrighty and the next uh, thing is you're supposed to put this up on the front bulkhead it says I'm assuming well let's put it up here like this Then, step three, you're supposed to put these into them. I'm gonna say, you gotta slide this little piece right here into the crossbar, where you call it. Easier said than done. There we go. Yes. 
far in as it goes. Like it's oh, I see. I see something. Look over here. You can see. I don't know if you can't hold it and point at it at the same time. Right in here where my finger is, you'll see a piece that goes into the spline in this uh, aluminum thing. And it needs to shift over if I'm not mistaken. Let me go look at this other side. Maybe it's poking out over there too. Nope. So it's uh, needing shifted. Hopefully I can get it. I'm assuming that's as far in as it goes. It looks like it should go a little further. See, if you're looking at this, you see that little gap there? But if you look at the bottom down in there, it's touching. Yeah, I'm assuming that's as good as it gets. I don't know how that's supposed to seal. You got that bit of a gap. I don't reckon it's supposed to go up over uh you look at this one yeah it all it should, it should it flushes up to see on the bottom it's flushed up against that because you got this hmm let me see something else over here did they put the weather stripping on it off kind of offset i think they may have i think they may have and i'll show you what i'm talking about here in a second I may have to trim that weather stripping. Yeah, the weather stripping is sticking out. So, you keep, you get that to butt up. See, I'll show you. The weather stripping is what's sticking out. Let's put this other side on first, see what we can do there. Yeah, and uh, something about bed covers. I say, if you have a S10 step side, you are going to pay a premium. Yeah, see on this side, on this side, it doesn't stick out. In fact, that little bit that it sticks out over there should probably be right here. See, it's beveled at the bottom, if you can tell. I don't know if you can see it or not. Hopefully, it shows up on camera. But yeah, the top part where it's the shortest should be level with that corner of the piece there. Well, it's not. And that's got to be a problem with the ceiling. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you something. This is not dust. Even though it looks like dust, that's pollen. It gets all, that's, that's po tree pollen or whatever, pollen from the plants. <laughs> gets all over everything this time of year. Still not complicated enough. Either. Okay, she put it up on this side. The 
way it, the way it should sit on the bed is there's just enough to clamp it and then the rest of it hangs off it's the true X tuxedo Truxedo, excuse me. <laughs> Truxedo. Uh, what do you call it? It'll say it on the uh, thing. It's a. Uh, it rolls up. We got another one that folds in like the tripod or whatever. Oh dang! It butted right up. I didn't have to bump. It. Okay, it's a little more to that side than this side. I can tell. So. I need to bring it over here. Listen, doesn't really. I guess I need to get a uh, socket wrench. Yeah, I didn't realize that. I thought this was supposed to be toolless. Well, we're supposed to put them on kind of loosely to start with anyway, so. That sucks because you got to do every one, six of these like this. Do, 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 do. Open her wide, I guess. So we got to get it up in there, up in here. I guess we gotta go all the way out with it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go all the way out with it, D, to get it on there. Get that up in there like that. Then you start running it down in there. Now, I need to show you something, too. You can actually see. I mean, that's pretty nifty now that I see it. look down in there you can see them grooves these little doohickeys have grooves so it keeps it from sliding out so it keeps it back there where it needs to be that's, a, that's actually pretty nifty that, that there was a some engineering But I like how them how it's got them little teeth there to, to lock on to. That's pretty cool. It's pretty radical, man. Yeah. Here's my construction. I had my tape measure on there. That's one good thing a tape measure does. It's a good paperweight. So yeah, I know this truck ain't perfect or anything, but I like to have a nice bed cover. It's the first one I've ever had.
doing is trying to tighten this thing down over here I don't know if you can see it or not hopefully you can with the wide angle oh, I just pulled it out of the doohickey thank you I guess this uh, bed cover will let you know if you got it uh, too far one way or the other there because I just now got this to line up I mean, got the bolt in there and everything. Like I say, this little doohickey goes into the grooves there. All righty, let's go get a socket. I guess I'll get my cheap set because it'll be a little easier to. Well, I got flies just flying around in here and it's everywhere. There we go my masculine dust pan uh, but yeah this is this is yeah if it would go perfectly very simple yeah I've had these for ages go ahead and put the uh, constention on there and I'll be on this side anywho. Hopefully it's a millimeter. I'm thinking 13. Boom. It's supposed to leave more loose like this for now though. I just wanted to have that sock set for when it comes to time to tighten it up. slid out too and I bet when I just did that it slid this one out a little bit Time, time, time. Trying to make the video short. Yeah, I get, I'm going to have to bump that whole thing over a little bit. The rail and everything. <coughs> uh, it's sticking out near as much over here as it is over there. But it's fairly consistent. something crazy about this truck i don't know if all s10s are like this or just the steps out i'm thinking all of them are the bed i don't know if you can see it looks like this is going out like this and this one's going out like this it's like uh i'm not i'm not, if i'm not mistaken i'm not sure though it's four inches narrower back here than it is up here and it's a uh, yeah like I say, I was going to say, if you got a step side, these cost a lot more because they're not as common, especially an S10 step side. If you had an F-150 step side or a, a Silverado step side, not a problem. Uh, yeah, I was looking at a F-150 step side, like $171. This one for this step side here, 265. Same exact brand and style and everything. Okay. Let's get to doing the other side. The other, other side. And do this opposite handed. I don't know which one would be left handed, but I guess this is right handed. Get it in there. I'm hoping you can see me well. The lighting's real good out here right now. I'm here with the hospital. Oh, I'm not even in the back. Um, I thought I 
thought something was wrong, man. Something was a little off. Back it back out. Wish that box wasn't uh, shaky. I'm pretty positive. Let me uh, loosen these up a little bit. Good thing I got my socket ready. Dag on soccer and for loose and missing. Yes, yeah, suckers. I don't know what the all the others I was able to easily loosen by hand. Take this one out. Okay, yeah, all the rest of them. Start off easy. Yeah, it's a pretty slick little bed liner. When I saw the way it worked, I thought that's pretty, pretty cool. I always wondered why these come apart like this all the way. And this is why. You gotta get this up. Hopefully I can show you. Oops, that was my mallet. No problem. I'm trying to get you. Hopefully you can see. You gotta get this up in there. Up in here. And then the top part in there. I'd say it's still acting like this is not far enough over. I just got see this is all the way up against that little rail there. And so is that one. So maybe it makes it tighter. I don't know. Maybe it's meant to be like that. We're fixing to find out. I'm trying to get you angled where you can see me better and it's still stable. This thing ain't wanting to act all stable. This ain't nowhere near tight. If you look over here, how close I got these together, looks like we've got a little ways to go. Got a tad bit to go. I'm not, I'm not gonna clamp this down. I'm just this is a little easier. It might be even easier if I do it with the, with the uh, socket set in the right direction. Get in there. Get in there, dang it. It's all the way in there. Okay. Still loose though. I'm not, it says to keep them loose. Just so you get it on there and everything and then you climb up in there. Tight. Well, no, I guess you, you have to do it with it open. Because if your bed cover's gonna be right here, you ain't gonna get a wrench in there while the bed cover's shut. <clears throat> Hopefully you can still see me good. Oh, see 
this is new. This came out of this pack. It's a little chunk of metal, a punch out from something. But yeah, that wasn't there before. It's a piece of aluminum. I just cleaned out my bed, so I know it wasn't there before. I'm quite sure of it. Seems like I gotta put it at an angle just to get this bolt to line up. Trying to go kind of even in the middle. trying to do is get this to at least go down in the, the little teeth there. There we go. And I guess it loosen a little bit. Anyhow, now let's see where we're at. So I did that, that, insert into the corners. Four, put the little things on. A line cover with the pickup bed. That's uh, kind of what I was doing, wasn't it? Aren't it? All right. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah, it should be a line. Look pretty, pretty there. Yeah. You know? Was uh. There's not even, even though these are on here loose. It's uh, pretty uh, lined up. What I'm trying to do is make sure this is equivalent to. Corners want to come out until you get it clamped down. That's what's going to happen. The steel just that stone. Looks like it's. Uh, I'm not liking this. This shouldn't be. Uh, see how it's tilted? Well, it's loose. I guess it kind of come come looser. No, I didn't put it on there all the way. That's right. That's my bad. But it's still kind of at an angle. Not as much as I thought, though. Okay. Yeah, trying to get that in the little ridges. Dang it. Get on. Get in the ridges. I'm tightening it down now. I'm trying to keep this side from moving when I go to try to get that side straight. Hopefully it's done. Messed the bed up underneath there, you know, the side rails. Can't get a particular song out of my, oh, dang it. inward toward you know toward the inside of the bed as I can have it you see that's a slight little gap there I wouldn't worry about that <clears throat> but over here about triple or quadruple that it's supposed to line up and close the gap and see when you roll this up it automatically catches in little 
Velcro catchers or whatever you want to call them. But uh, trying to set you up here. I don't know what you're seeing. Hopefully you can see what I see. Yeah, this is like, like it wants to has to be in further and uh, that's as far in as I can get it to go. These uh, doohickeys shouldn't be that daggone tilted up. That's causing the uh, Maybe it's not an exact science when they make these. Because like I say, uh, there's not hardly as many stepside S10s out there as there is stepside Silverados and F-150s and all that. put these on like this whether it's a top or back cover or whatever you should uh <coughs> check them every so often make sure they're not going loose on you underneath it's got the <coughs> it's got this foam all along the whole stretch of it and, and what I showed you was just me putting it on the corner so here comes the moment of truth hopefully I don't get angry oh. when you get that far you do this you has the bars already in there I'm probably going to mess this up. Seems like it ought to be tight. Just seems like. Give it a good start. All right. It's supposed to just basically roll into place. That's the way I understood it. Huh? See here? So it just barely misses this one. So what I'm going to do is, what I'm going to do now, loosen this up. looking nice. I don't expect it to be perfect, perfect. But they got any slack. So 
see it's supposed to basically roll right into place. Show you something. I can see it now. Got these little grooves right here. This is your back rail. And this goes in there like that. And I'm thinking I'm gonna have to shift the whole thing forward a little bit. So I'm thinking I might have it just a hair farther back than I need to have. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to go for further forward with it. So we're gonna roll it up. <laughs> I gotta loosen all those things on the side. But this is how easy it is to come up. I'll show you how it latches. It actually latches and locks in place once you have it right. See, it doesn't give me a start point. So yeah, I need to get this further up on the front of the bed. But yeah, that's the, the gist of it. Agitating me. Still got that gap. I thought I had this one there when I started. It must have moved or I moved it or something. Otherwise, I wouldn't have to be doing this. Hopefully I didn't go too far with the whole bed cover this time. Where'd you get this all done though? I didn't go completely with the constructions either, so who needs constructions? Actually, yeah, I'm supposed to clamp the assembly, that's what I did. Okay, yeah. Yeah, well, Jack, actually, even though I didn't uh, consciously go by it. This, that thing should be a, a this much wider up front. <clears throat> Probably a 
about double that actually. I guess the key is to keep it, push that all the way out that way. As far out as you can get these things to go up to, into that rail, you know, up against it. Because it was lining up. I just had it too far forward. And where it seemed like that was not wide enough up front, I had that idea that it should be as pushed in as you can get it. Starting to get hot in here. Hopefully this video ain't too too long. Gaps there again. Big time. We got her now, though, Dan. Hopefully I'm still videoing. Sometimes the thing will shut off on me. And then I'll hear it beep. But when I hear it beep, it's already shut off. Like five minutes beforehand. Okay. Let's do this again. They only show you them rolling it up. They don't show you them uh, having to unroll it. At least I don't believe I remember them doing it. Gotta leave enough for over there. <laughs> these little things right here this catches that and you yeah. well it's supposed to shut and lock into place I pulled this as far as I can Bed rails and stuff were made by them. It should be long enough for them. I'm probably just being overly cautious with this. I don't want to mess it up. Some dog back here ain't good. Yeah, it should I? Should go right in there. There we go. That's a little. Yeah, there it is. Turex, a uh, truck sport. Tux Truxedo.com. Yeah. Looks like it raises up off the bed more than most trucks, but I think like if you're looking at the rail on the S10, it's like this, not like flat. It's kind of got kind of a tilt to it anyway. 
Yeah, it's doing it on that side too. Yeah, it kind of. Look down the side, you can see it kind of, kind of rolls up into the corner here. So it's not going to be uh, perfect. There we go. Now we're looking right. Pull this box out of here, y'all. Oh yeah, hold it. Let me show you this. Here's how you open it up. Somewhere here, right here. Here go boom, boom, boom. Woo! She's under pressure. Uh, these go. Well, this one you can tell specifically goes on a certain side. It's right here. Weather stripping. And this one will go on this side. And then you're left with this little uh, doohickey. There we go. Almost forgot. That sucker went blind, didn't it? Now let's do it again. Supposed to use both hands and do it evenly. Almost like a trampoline, you hear that? Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, it's pretty. I like it. It's come with a five year warranty. No, bits and pieces from the factory, I suppose. You can see it right there, look. A little tiny chunk of aluminum. Like a little bit of a shaving. There's another one. Be messing up my bed liner. Yeah, there shouldn't be a bunch of. You can see it. See all the little sparkles there? It's like a whole trail of it. Yeah, the window will eventually blow it off, I suppose. But yeah, I like that. That's, uh, I wanted to show you me uh, shutting the bed and see how I got it lined up in the back end. Hopefully, I got it lined up great. Here's my socket. That's a glass tube. I have to set it on there gently. Just cleaned my bed out, and I still got my mallet up in there. <laughs> But I'll show you this real quick before I end the video. Yeah. She's tight. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I've never had, like I say, this is my first bed cover. And this is the way she looks. You got your loops right here. And like I say, when it rolls up, it comes with these little straps and you hook them on there and pull them tight. But, uh, yeah oh shoot i want 48 minutes with this one <laughs> it's only supposed to take first 15 minutes but yeah that's that's all there is to it well i hope you like the video and if you do subscribe and uh or hit like and subscribe or both either way either way we want to do it as long as you do it uh and share the crap out of it <laughs>